Hi folks, so today I'm going to do a review on Art Forum, which is a magazine that started in the 60s and it's quite a funny magazine because essentially it's all gallery adverts with a little bit of content with tiny text at the back. Now, why I'm reviewing it is because actually at the moment I'm really into graphic design and gallery adverts. So it's basically the perfect magazine for me. Uh, I'm actually going to ignore the content that's in the back. It's about the last 20 pages of the magazine, which is quite a thick magazine, is the content and the rest is just adverts. Uh, so I'm going to go through the adverts, what I like, what I dislike, uh, ignore the content. Um, also, yeah, this, this uh, magazine is normally like $15. Um, $15 for a magazine of adverts and a little bit of content. But anyway, I'm going to look at the upsides. After all, adverts can be really cool. There's loads of good graphic design in it. So if you're into um, graphic design uh, of exhibitions, sometimes the posters for the exhibition is better than the exhibition. You think, oh wow, that's good. It has the title, um, all the information, and a picture. And you think, wow, that looks exciting. And you go to the show, and you're like, wow, this is absolutely rubbish. So I'm going to go through Art Forum and review all the advertisements, which is the majority of the magazine. Enjoy. So, this is the cover. Pretty cool cover. Be at the hand of might. I love that. It looks like it's on some kind of plastic. Uh, and the, the, the font is amazing. Um, quite powerful. And they've got a radio there. It, it looks like an old radio. And up here, it says Art and Activism. This is the Art and Activism interview, uh, sorry, issue, but I'm going to rename it Advert Issue, like all the rest of them. So, as you can see on here, it's got, it's got quite, a, quite a lot of features, really, um, but if you look at the page numbers, <laughs> from 196 to 276, um, oh, and there's a few here as well. Actually, they make it look like it's got quite a lot in it. Um, moving on. Quite a sparse advert here, I like that. Very elegant. NY, New York. And here, this is my kind of advert. I mean, that is a fantastically strange sculpture. Goodness knows what it's made out of. Very sensuous, almost looks a bit like Play-Doh. Plasticky Play-Doh. Uh, and then it's Ron Nagel getting to know Matthew Marks, New York. And I think that is just a really funny sentence. Very playful. I like that. Terrible Anish Kapoor advert. Uh, terrible. Terrible. Awful. Awful. And this interests me quite a lot because Sean Scully, Sean Scully, he normally paints these sort of uh, block kind of brick paintings. Very beautiful. I love them. Lots of tonal range. Um, and sometimes they're made of different panels and they're put together almost like jigsaws. Uh, I'm quite a big fan of his paintings, but I've never seen him paint anything like this. So that's something entirely new. So that would interest me. Um, and I like, I think Sean Scully is a really great artist. Jeff Wall, I remember when I studied photography um, before painting, he, it was all about Jeff Wall and I got sick of his name. This Jeff Wall, this name here, Jeff Wall. I couldn't see the picture anymore. It would be like an amazing picture, but I'd just see Jeff Wall, Jeff Wall, in bold, Jeff Wall. I'd see Jeff Wall all the time, just Jeff Wall, and I'd get really bored of just seeing Jeff Wall. And there'd be a picture there, but it would mean nothing to me, because I would just see Jeff Wall. Jeff Wall, Baselitz, one of my personal favourites when I was living in Germany, when I was in that sort of very romantic part of my life. Um, Baselitz and this dark, the darkness of German history was very stimulating for me. Josh Smith always paints his name, Josh Smith in this style. Really loose, beautiful, express, expressive, uh, loose, uh, dreamy. And this show is called Emo Jungle, which I think is a really appropriate title. That's a flexible painting. That painting has flexibility. Flexibility is good, it's a good thing. Amazing Andy Warhol advert. Brilliant type, the way it's set out, the design. Uh, the red and the white, it's powerful. It, I would go to that show. This Robert Longo advert, it's unappealing to me. America, Robert Longo. Um, it, maybe it's the bullets and the, it's too much. She had an amazing style. Clothes style. I really like this um, 
so strawberry man child strawberry man child dreamy you know embroidery Look. Bernard Freeze we all know Freeze don't we Lucian Freud fantastic beautiful painting I quite like this just whacking a speaker right in the middle of what looks like a photograph um, I don't know whether in um, oh yeah here it says the frequency of longing 2019 photograph transparency and light box with embedded speaker and sound I'd really like to see that that that's a that's something exciting for me and I also like the frame and here a genuinely mad double spread um, paintings I think the person that made this no comment so here's an advert very interesting this is an advert for uh, a gallery I imagine yeah these are their artists and there's some shows here in red uh, and it's the space uh, absolutely gorgeous space uh, I would love to put work in there uh, gorgeous space with no work in uh, and the artists I think that's I quite like that Zeno X gallery play kid running around some office chairs that looks funny I would like to go and see that surrealism in Mexico completely insane painting love it flexible painting flexible drawing love it that is an amazing sculpture and then occasionally you get an advert for a fashion brand um, to me this is a absolutely terrible advert um, does does absolutely nothing for me tells me nothing um, it's nothing it's it's yeah this looks quite interesting a lot a lot going on here uh, and some really mad formal decisions very collage uh, I like these features up here um, have no idea what it is painting collage um, looks interesting though more 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 Barnaby Barford and a rotten apple that for me is fantastic I love that that looks like one huge wrinkly apple Barnaby Barford more 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 that's fantastic some brilliant texture here uh, looks like a lot of layering looks like the, the painters kind of stuck something on uh, then pulled it off and you get this amazing texture and rich white very rich whites there Catty Heck all my friends are wild and then this sort of insane dog with eight boobs and nipple rings um, she has issues who doesn't now these are quite weird and they're sort of from a different from somewhere else they're, they're, they're the other they're, they're strange beautiful and strange and exciting the evolution of a dream the evolution of a dream some fantastic ceramics here uh, I presume they're ceramics and not something else yeah I presume they are um, great colours strip it down strip it down uh, I'm feeling it I'm feeling it yeah product owner very brutal painting there in pink and there's Lee Krasner's painting that was Jackson Pollock's wife the painting by the wife sold in Sotheby's Sotheby's 1744 they've done all right for themselves haven't they Mark Rothko again Sotheby's Mark Rothko one of my personal favorites great for contemplation architect of color terribly pretentious title in my opinion but quite a beautiful painting uh, I would like to see more of these paintings in Berry Campbell rain effecting a little bit gay for me but that's fine um, quite nicely painted but there's it's too it's there's too much gayness for me 
Yeah. Industry City. Open Studios. Explore over 100 studios, including artists, jewelers, architects, manufacturers, and more. Food and drink available. If there's ever food and drink available, people will be there. That's that's a big one. It's a big one. British Council. British Council. That is a fantastically alarming uh, visual. Um, and I'd be interested to see that. 3 times 3 times 6. Shulia Chiang. There's a Sean Scully advert. It says human. Never, see, never seen him do stuff like that. So I'm, I'm very curious. Uh, and when I put this phone down, I'll probably go online and have a look at what's going on with Sean Scully at the moment. Because that's quite exciting. Shirley, Shirley to uh, stake stakeholders, Hong Kong, Hong Kong in Hong Kong in Venice, 11th of May, 11th of May to 24th of October, November, 11th of May to 24th of November 2019, curated by Christina Lee, and then a whole load of Asian font. I quite like that. It's it's bonkers. Sorry, but this is. The horrible, pretentious spread. Not a fan of that collage. Sorry, not a fan. Don't like it. Oh, this looks quite good. Invasa. And then some really intricate, crazy, tar-like ceramics. Uh, it's been dipped in tar, and it looks like a sort of dinosaur head coming out there. I'm going to look this up afterwards. This, this looks interesting. On this page, Asian artists don't really know any Asian artists, to be honest. Nice kind of multiple gradient on this poster. Um, too much going on here. Too much. Too much. Howdy cowboy. Frank Stella. So when I was big into the American painters of the 50s, um, I was really into Frank Stella. I liked how he changed. Um, but now he's a bit stiff for me, even though his later collage paintings are completely nuts these big like collage type of paintings they're completely bonkers um, got a lot of respect from Frank Stella uh, made work for an insane amount of time um, yeah Frank Stella and these must be the guys who can't afford the full spreads you know they can't afford the full spread so they go on a four page four per page now this is it's a bit futuristic for me, but I actually like that at the same time. I think this is amazing, this sort of chameleon blended into the design of the poster. Um, fantastic. Uh, yeah, it's really, really amazing. This for me is a very, very boring poster, and the design is terrible. I like this. It's very it Italian art. Boom. <laughs> Italian art. The strength of that. That red and that black. Ooh. Admission is free to the public. Now, Nam Chu, Nam Chu Un Mo, gesture in space. That looks like a really nice show and an insanely nice space. Wow. Look at that polished floor. That looks like an insanely nice space. And, a ge and a gesture in space. Uh, a lot of room for thinking in that space and I imagine with the na it looks like natural light coming down that's a real that's a real beauty this is everything that I hate in painting it's everything that I hate they're sort of it's these sort of lyrical gestures ugh, ugh. and maybe it's just a thing of my generation or the way I've been educated or uh, I understand all of that, but still, when I see it, I, uh, it makes me a bit. Blah. I can't. I can't get on board with that. Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That looks like a fantastic painting. There are a lot of love in there. Uh, up here, the details you can tell. It's painted with love. Possible dimensions. Quite like the poster. Uh, this is a really weird logo. Culture and the people. This could almost be an advert for like a entrepreneur's like startup. I I don't know. You, you know what I mean? It's, it's strange. Quite like it though. There are digital squiggle art. Very nice. Very flexible. I like flexibility. In Greenwich, 
used to live near there. Figures of speech and just the darts, ah, just not something you want to go and I don't, I don't want to see that. It's, nah. Coons and Duchamp. Go for it, lads. Two amazing artists. Now we get to the content. It's all, the text is too small for me. Um, it's art and activism. It's something to skip, basically. Loads of text. Loads of text. Loads of text. Chaotic diagram. So now I'm just flicking through what is called the content. Um, hoping that I'll get to some more adverts. Flicking through the content. So all this time, it's been... I like this. Futuro. Hospital style bedpan. So all this time, we you go through and then eventually you get the content. These are amazing, these, these um, flags. Love that. And a lot of this stuff, the brilliant book, uh, book il illustrations of book covers. I like that. With the black hand in the black night. Um, and yeah, and there's the, that's what was on the cover. And you just sort of go through all this stuff, brilliant totem uh, things. Um, you go through all of this, and it's just, by the time you get to this, pit, this part, the actual content, your brain, this, these are amazing, your brain is completely fried from all the adverts, so you just flick through it like, ah, da, 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 yeah, content, content, heart, like, two thirds of the magazine, if not more, is, oh, I like that with the send help. So it's, yeah, the paintings and then on the sides, a bit like when they hide things in products saying like, help us, we're being exploited. Um, so yeah, just basically flicking through the content, because by the time you've seen all the adverts, your brain is completely fried. And just enjoying the sound of the paper, really. Just enjoying that sound of the paper. And that's it, folks. Art Forum. If you're into adverts and graphic design, it's an amazing magazine. 15 the price. Not at all worth it. If you're into content, I'd go elsewhere. So, guys, that was my review of Art Forum. Uh, I'm not even going to say like and subscribe, but I've just said it, but you don't have to because it's just a fucking waste of time. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you survived to the end, it means you obviously were enjoying my review of Art Forum. Um, go out and get yourself a copy. Uh, yeah.